so I'm here in the lovely south of Erwan where I live much of the time now that I got evicted from Whole Foods and uh, today what happened was I turned this on to tell another story briefly Jamie Kennedy and a couple of suits were here I was over there and I said you know what really livens up a meeting is a guy at the periphery shooting rubber bands <clears throat> then they thought I was amusing then I recognized him then I told the guy about my YouTube channel then he went away Screw the two minute pitch, I'm down to 10 seconds, you know? I mean, 30 seconds was like an elevator, right? You're trapped with the guy, okay? Fuck it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> guy just went by and I said, look, buddy, cheer up. Things could be worse, you could have no neck. And then I remembered actually doing a guy in Scan Clues to Crispo, where, where I used to live, there where, <clears throat> unfortunately, my Aunt Oprah came down with affluenza and she thinks that's the happiest town in America, but let's not go there. <clears throat> Anyways, what happened was, that I knew a guy in that town with no neck. And the weird thing was that, you know, before they had that court ruling where they legalized gay marriage, right? I literally knew two gay guys in that town, one of which maybe, I don't know, he was a uh, transvestite, who knows, right? But besides these two guys, that was it. I went back after the ruling, I kid you not, all these conservative guys that were sitting around going, oh, those damn gay guys, turned out to be gay. And I was just like, so you were there the whole time and I didn't know, well, that's a trip, right? But before that, there was the transvestite guy who was like the worst transvestite on the planet. It was like, he looked like a frumpy Iowa housewife, right? White guy, off blonde hair, cut poorly, a spectacle, right? Big old bag he'd carry everywhere, like beige, green leather, right? And it was as if he was basically just going, yeah, I'm a guy in a dress. What are you going to do about it? I was like, well, nothing, but can't you accessorize, you know? Hire a consultant, right? Besides that, there was the guy who sold me the gas, and he had no neck. And it, I would, you know, you're trying to be really, really nice to people if they have some kind of a thing. You're trying to be, people stare at this thing, I, I get mad at them, and I say, hey, are there any nice people left on the planet? Didn't your mom tell you not to stare? I'm nice to people when they're in wheelchairs. I don't stare, apparently, you're a dick. But it is hard when it's, he had no neck. And you'd be talking to me like, okay, $5 on pump three. And I would just be like, and his whole thing was, you know, I don't have any problem with it. Because he was like that since he was born, right? Then the weird element was he would be flirting with me and he would be like, is it that I have no neck? Is it because I, I don't have problems? I'd be no, dude, it's not that you have no neck. It's that I'm not okay. It's, it's not the one thing. But what I'm saying is once you're out about having no neck, being out about being fabulous, what the hell, right? Those are the two people, the, the only two people in that whole town. And I came back and that was, and it just made me realize that, you know, this thing set a lot of people free to be themselves because prior to that, it was the one guy who couldn't help but avoid being a pariah, so why not add that on? And the other guy was basically going, damn right, I'm a guy in a dress, what are you gonna do about it? Who knew? Yeah, so I shot rubber bands at Jamie Kennedy and his entourage, and at the end, the one guy was looking at me like, hey, you're pretty funny. Jamie Kennedy did what Tim Robbins did, he did what Alan Alda, to his credit, eventually stood his ground and did stick with me at the film festival, but I mean, you know, most every famous person I meet goes, oh my God, you have really intense energy, you're interesting, and you scare the shit out of me, and please, bleeding man, can you go away? So this time, I, I didn't actually shoot rubber bands. What I said was, if you really want to liven up a meeting, pontificating guys who can't afford an office, rubber bands is the way to go. I also have a new theory that a testosterone imbalance is a pre-indication of an inability to afford a muffler. So, by the way, if you have a sports car, okay, maybe red, better with gray or black, much cooler, but can we just lose the orange and the yellow? You have an orange Lamborghini, dude, and you can't drive it. I can drive it and it shouldn't be that color. Can you see? Have a good night. Later.